Greetings everyone, Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Monday, July the 11th. And this is Dry Core Add-on. This is for all platforms. <clears throat> this is by Fusion Simulations, 27.19 megabytes to download. <clears throat> and it is a um, well, a corn drying factory that has that comes with a number of extra accessories to the factory system that we will go through one at a time. Now, the main star of the show is, of course, the uh, corn drying silo, uh, which is this in front of us. Uh, 19 slots. You'll find it under productions and factories. And it is the big silo. And it is a silo. In the sense that you can uh, put in and remove, it only takes corn and um, propane, which we'll get at in a moment. But there it is. You can place it anywhere, like so. Uh, $150,000. And uh, let's just have a look at this one first, because... Um, so what it does, we'll go into the menu here. Uh, it uh, will it will hold three million liters of corn, and fifty thousand liters of propane. We'll talk about the propane in a minute. I just want to talk about the process first. Uh, the recipe: five hundred uh, liters of corn and uh, and twenty four liters of propane will give you five hundred liters of dried corn, which makes perfect sense. The propane is used to dry. <clears throat> to run the dryers to ride the corn. So equal in, equal out, except for the propane, right? So you're using the propane as fuel for the factory. Very simple, very very straightforward. Cycles per month, 1440 at $60 a month. Um, daily upkeep is $150,000. The dried corn capacity, it tells you right on the description, 1,500,000 liters. So we don't have to you know, test that to see how much we can get. The uh, description on the Mod Hub is extensive. I encourage you to read the uh, read the um, description because it does give you extensive description and information on each on each of the things in this in this package. Now, what else is in this package? Well, of course. Uh, where do you get the propane from? You get them from these uh, containers. Uh, now, this says liquid fertilizer on here. Um, so let's start with the containers. Let's start at this end because this is the first one. The containers will be found not there, but here under s containers. And here they are. So... Uh, you know it. Uh, you know it's with the pack because it says dry corn add-on mod at the bottom of each of these. So this is the first propane tank, as you can see here, ten thousand dollars. It will uh, hold up to ten thousand liters of propane. The next one, uh, oh, that is eleven slots. This one is somewhat bigger, twice the size, double the sl double the. Uh, um, quantity that it contains that'll hold <laughs> 14 slots and then the the last one 40,000 liters at $25,000 and that's only six slots like so all right so it says propane this little icon here if you come up to there you can press square and hold it and now <laughs> oh there we go. Come on. You can change it to the label as methane, but actually right now I think it doesn't like it because there's propane in there already. Uh, same with this one. You can... So the, these those two hold propane and methane. We don't use methane in the product production, but if you have methane, you can you can store it or buy it from here as well. Now this one's a little different. This one has the, um, if you want to go to, there we go. It's a little tricky, the next decal and previous decal. It, uh, there we go, now we have propane 
as a label. Uh, you come over here, you go hold O, and it'll go to liquid fertilizer. For some reason, you can buy or store liquid fertilizer in this one and methane in the other two. A little bit, little bit different, um, but not, um, well, it is what it is. Now, to buy, to fill it, you can, well, this is the only place you can buy propane as far as I know, uh, on console at least anyways. So here we got liquid fertilizer and propane. Um, you can, I have some in there already. If you can see propane, 24,000. Can it, will it let me buy liquid fertilizer? Yes, so it will hold both. Hmm. That's, um, that's a little different than, uh, than some of the other containers where it was like only one or the other. That's neat. Um, so propane, propane is very cheap, $21 per thousand liters. Uh, so if we just buy the rest, uh, yeah, so now it's, uh, we're, we got the 30 or 40,000 liters in here, uh, the prices for the liquid fertilizer is base game price. Um, I'm assuming this, uh, this, these are full of propane. Now, how do you get the propane out of the tank into the factory? Now, that's an excellent question. Um, none of the base game tankers um, I, that I found could hold propane so if we go here there's no tankers in under trailers until you get into the modded ones and so uh, if you go down to miscellaneous we have uh, we have uh, no tankers in miscellaneous for uh, let's see animals animals is the only one that has containers or tankers sorry and none of them the MKS 32 or 8 Neither one of them uh, has the propane icon, and neither does the, well, that's liquid tank. That's a mod. So, you're going to have to download, if you don't have already, um, either the uh, uh, Lizard MKV Universal Tanker Trailer Package mod. Those will hold propane, as, among other things. Or um, 82 Studio, uh, that tanker. Uh, the the TLX 48 foot tanker trailer uh, that will also hold propane. Um, there may be others, but I just use this one to show that, and you can see the little propane uh, icon there down at the bottom. Uh, all you need to do is drive up to uh, one of these. It could be either this one or that one. You have to start filling, and it just fills it up. Like so. All right. So, and then um, and then you just come over here and f transfer like anything else as if it was mm, any other liquid going into the uh, factory. All right, so... There is one other. There is a cell point, and you'll find that under productions and cell points. It is, uh, it is the super. Oh, the supermarket with dry. It's supposed to be the supermarket with dry corn. There it is. Supermarket with dry corn. So it will buy um, several other items as well. Basically, the supermarket items plus the dried corn. It will. It will buy for $65,000, and it is 13 slots. <clears throat> All right, so before we go, let's turn it on. Anyways, let's get that thing going, and already we got six liters. So I'm, I have a feeling it's going to be fairly quick, but let's look at our prices. And uh, the dry corn and propane will be at the bottom, as you can see down here. Uh, the prices aren't um, 
I must say the prices aren't inspiring for the dried corn because I have a sell everything, uh, two of them down just because because it's a test map, and it is very close to the um, price for dry corn. So, um, yeah, um, so I would. I would check prices on your map first to see what's going on before. I mean, I mean, you could put one on because it does buy the dry corn. It's another sell point, but at sixty-five thousand dollars, it's a little pricey, if you ask me. But there are other places that will buy dried corn. Um, some of these sell points that you can buy that buy everything. So right, okay. Now, I think we've covered everything. We're just going to go and go take a little nappy nap and go ahead a day and see what kind of production we get out of one day. So, see you in a bit. All right. <clears throat> so, we're back. And what's the progress? Well, pretty good progress, if you ask me. Um, corn's down a bit, obviously. Uh, but it's down by, well, 700,000 liters is what it did overnight, basically. And it sucked up most of the pro, well, I'd say two-thirds of the propane. So you're going to have to fill it with propane literally every day. And uh, I'll just show you how that works. At least with this tanker. Uh, there are some modded tankers that do not hold propane either. Um, so with at least with this tanker, it fills pretty fast. Uh, it's only 17,000 liters. Obviously, there's bigger ones. Uh, so it's as simple as that to fill the propane. As we can take a look now, it's, uh, it's back up. Um, it would be... Yeah, that's a little bit um, annoying that it only has enough for basically one sleep <laughs> but um, anyways uh, <clears throat> as for the dried corn as I and as I said it is a silo so I can take out the corn that's in there already if I said okay well I don't I need some of that corn back or the dried corn so let's just pull some corn out of there and see how fast yeah the uh, the fill speed is not awesome. Um, so, anyways, uh, and this is where you put it in. So I'm just going to put it back in there, like so. There you go, back in there. Uh, now let's see what the cracked corn looks like. It doesn't look any different. So the cracked corn, the, the um, you just can see by the little um, icon next to the corn. That's how you know that's what it is. Um, and you can use it as a silo. You can put it back in. It's like, oh, I don't, oh, I only sold, I only want to sell, uh, some. And, uh, so it is a silo for, well, corn and cracked corn anyways. Um, so that feature is something I'm seeing a lot more of, and I'm, I'm very happy about that. I hate the, I do hate the factories that you put stuff in and you can't take it back out again. Uh, it's just frustrating and um, uh, I, I, I really do love that feature. You can take out, uh, take out, put it in, take it out at will uh, that there is that option. And that's about it. That's the dry corn add on the, there, no, there is a notation at the end of the description that says future improvements will include additional dried corn usages. So looking forward to seeing what else they're going to use dried corn for. And there it is. That's the dried uh, corn add-on by Fusion Simulations. His first uh, mod on uh, for all platforms. 27.19 megabytes to download. Um, 19 slots, 3 slots, and 11, 14, and 6. <laughs> All around that, under 19 slots. I'm Loon Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.